Hi everyone, this is Kimberly from Kimberly's Fabric Stash and it is Fabric Bundle Friday and we're so excited that you are joining us again this week. And uh, last week uh, we did a great uh, talk about coordinating fall fabrics and this week we have some wonderful projects to share with you. So um, I'm just going to give you a quick background and then we're going to uh, get right into it. That gives everybody a second to join. So I am Kimberly Chafee from Kimberly's Fabric Stash. We are a online quilt shop that sells quilting fabrics and products. And uh, we had a brick and mortar several years ago and we're now online and we do do by appointment only. So if you're in uh, the Pittsburgh area and you wanna come see me, um, you will just set up an appointment and uh, you can come in. So uh, I just like to say thank you for those that shared this week's event. Uh, I always appreciate the sharing. Uh, sharing is caring. And today we are giving away two $50 gift certificates uh, for those that share our live event and stay to the end. So if you can do that, that would be fantastic and we'd appreciate that. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. Um, if you want to comment or give me a thumbs up that you can hear me, I'd appreciate that, making sure that all the volume is working just fine. And um, okay, I can see Fran's in from uh, Allison Park. So hi, Fran. Thanks for commenting. And glad you joined, joined me. And Fran, I have your book set aside. So whenever you pop up here, I have your book. So Fran won a book last week um, for um, participating in, in the sharing and caring program here that we have. So, Ooh, so um, and hi, Pam. Nice to see you again. And hi, Sharon. Nice to see you from Mississippi. Hope your weather's doing well. We are having uh, great weather here in Western Pennsylvania. We usually have uh, rainy, cloudy, overcast days like Seattle, Washington. And uh, this far, uh, this year so far, we've had like a lot of really nice sunny days and very little rain. So it's actually been a nice change. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things that I'm waiting, like I'm bracing for the rain and the snow for the winter time. So, okay, so we'll get to what's behind me uh, as we go through the video. Uh, but basically, I just want to go ahead and get started with we're going to talk about the different uh, things that we looked at last week as far as our color coordinations for fall and how I use them in different projects. So uh, one of the first things that we went over last week was a traditional autumn theme. And uh, so basically, I took the colors from that and I made this waffle time uh, quilt uh, runner. I'm sorry, it's a runner using those. So you'll see that we have the purple cotton shot in there, the yellow, the leaves, and then the, an orange uh, border. And what we're doing today to help you guys um, kind of get over to links over to my shop is um, when I show a product, uh, hopefully if this works, we're hitting the feature button. Did those populate? It did pop in. Okay, and then that way you guys can uh, pop over to my website. How cool is that? So we're getting like technical advanced here as, as our weeks go by. So this is a pattern called Waffle Time. It's a really great little pattern from Atkinson Designs. And those of you that are familiar with my shop, you know that we, um, when we used to teach a lot of sewing classes, we used a lot of Atkinson patterns. And uh, so this is one of their patterns. You can also make a table topper with this pattern as well. So if you pop over to, with that link that we just put up, this will take you to the kit for this. Um, and also a pattern is available. So that's called Waffle Time. And again, you can see how the combination of our purple, our yellow, our, um, our our fall leaf theme really came together in this. This is a great little table runner, and I think it'd be a really nice gift to give somebody this, this fall. So that's one of our 10 projects that we're talking about today. The next project I have is based off of a very familiar pattern uh, called the Triangle Frenzy uh, Table Runner. And um, those of you that are familiar with that, many of you probably have this pattern. But here we have a border stripe fabric that we were able to make this beautiful uh, table runner for fall. Super easy. And if you don't have the Triangle Frenzy pattern, you can click over. Again, we put up the link to that as well. And you can... Um, click over to that and get the pattern. It's called Triangle Frenzy. And depending on the size of your border stripe depends on how big this runner goes. So you can have a very small runner or a very large runner depending on the stripe. So this is a beautiful fall fabric we have in. It's called Harvest. And uh, again, it's super simple project for fall. So that's our project number two. And uh, I think that'd be a nice gift for somebody, a nice table mat or, or runner for, for your home, home projects. So all right, I'm going to drop that down there. Okay, the next one that we have is the 
deer table runner. So again, this is another pattern um, using the triangle frenzy, but I'm gonna show you something else that we did with this. Besides just doing the runner, okay, because the pattern is great for that. Um, when we when we did this, I'm like, well, what are we gonna do with the rest of the stripe? Because as you know, sometimes you have leftover border stripe and you're sitting there with all this extra border stripe and you don't wanna throw it in the trash can because we're good you know, stewards of our fabric and we, we try to be really good about those kinds of things. So here's a couple other projects that I did with the leftover border stripe, just to give you some ideas. So here's the pattern with the deer. And again, we have um, the kits uh, available and the fabric available for this. And I think this would make a really great project for if you have a camp or, or a woodland kind of decor or you know somebody who does. Um, so what did we do? Well, one of the border stripes left over, we made a, we used our Dunroven towels and we just took one of the stripes and put it on the towel. And again, this is a great gift, super simple to do. All you're doing is cutting the stripe, folding under the edges and, and just sewing it down. Like you, you can't make this hard at all. So just as a, this is pretty simple, there's a towel. And the other thing that you can do, here, I'm gonna actually toss them to you because cool. that way you don't pick them up off the floor. I actually had enough stripe left over from that project that I was able to make, count them, yes, four different placemats uh, from that border stripe. So this is a project that you definitely can uh, get a lot of mileage out of a border stripe. Sometimes you buy border stripes and you have it left over and you're not quite sure what to do. And um, so you got a towel, a table runner, and four placemats. Pretty simple and pretty easy, um, simple projects. And then again, I do have this kitted as well. Um, I did use fusible fleece in my um, table runner or in the uh, placemats, okay? And if you're not familiar with fusible fleece, basically what that is is uh, Quilter's Dream makes a iron-on uh, fusible it's not even a fleece, it's a fusible bat, okay? And uh, we sell it here in the store. And uh, all I did is I just like laid these down, ironed, I did a couple of stitching to hold it in place. And you know, I had like four place months done in an hour. So again, another great project for fall, super simple, easy to do, cause that's what we were looking for. Um, and now is the time of year, it's too kind of late to start a massive like king size quilt right? Like, or, or, I mean, you could, but you'll probably get it done like Thanksgiving and maybe that's fine. And I'm not knocking doing massive big projects. Obviously we got some stuff behind you to show, but uh, behind me to show, but, um, so, but we're trying to do easy, simple things. Okay. That's, that's the idea here. So that's another one of our projects. All right. So, so we showed that the pattern for the triangle frenzy is up on the website. Um, I, Leah's going to put up a link for it now so you can go over. If you're unfamiliar with that pattern, it's a pretty popular pattern uh, that people uh, will use their border stripes for. So if you're new to that pattern, you will need a 60 degree uh, uh, ruler from Creative Grids. If you do not have one of those, let me know. Uh, many of you have those rulers. They're, they're, they're utilized in a lot of quilting projects, but that pattern does require a 60 degree table runner ruler. So if you don't have one, let me know. Uh, otherwise, you just need the pattern and you're off and running and these zip up really quick. And I do have to say thank you to um, Nancy for doing the two samples for me. Uh, she really helped me out this week and th thumbs up to Nancy. She's she's always a, a, a great helper. So um, I appreciate that Nancy you did a great job. So all right. So moving on. Um, the next project I have to share is this pillow up here. Now I will put the link up to this at the end. I don't have the link to it right now. It is a free pattern and this is my yo-yo um, pillow. And basically what this is, is I'm using my Clover, my Clover yo-yo maker. Many of you are familiar with the Clover yo-yo maker. And I took um, little patches of fall themed fabrics. I'm not sure if we're getting a glare off of that, but I think it's okay. <laughs> Uh, basically, I make, made a bunch of yo-yos. I tacked them down to a background fabric. I have a 12-inch pillow, a little bit of like nice, rusty, cool um, red uh, fabric for the back. And this is a great little decorative pillow that I'm going to put in my living room uh, to add to that fall theme. So I might combine this with maybe the autumn uh, table runner, put that on the little coffee table I have, this little pillow. There's a lot of things you can do to bring fall into your decor, make your home cozy. Of course, a lot of us get out our, you know, plastic 
foliage and we you know put it across our mantles and all those kinds of things and some fall flowers um, it just depends on like how much of a cozy mood you want to create uh, in my house I get out the candles we start lighting like the you know pumpkin scented everything uh, because that's just me I I, I just love fall uh, but again this is a, another easy project and this does not take very long if you're sitting in front of the TV in the evening um, or, or you're watching YouTube or whatever and you need something to do with your hands because you're just sitting there and you're like oh I don't know what to do with myself I can't go to my sewing machine yo-yos are simple they're super easy to make and I highly suggest the clover yo-yo maker if you and these come in different sizes this is one of the bigger sizes I like the bigger size because that means less yo-yos to make for the pillow but uh, if you like smaller yo-yos because you just think they look super stinking cute, I suggest you get one of these. They will make your life go a lot easier making little yo-yos. So that is our, our other project that we have for fall. Thank you. Okay, so this pattern here I'm going to share. Now, before you, uh, before you get too excited, I do not have the fabric for this. I know, big no-no in the world of quilting. I'm going to show you something I do not have the fabric for. But what I am showing you today are ideas, okay? So this project is called Strip Center, and I'm going to hold this up, and I think you guys can kind of see the whole thing. Yeah, thank you, Leah. And I'm crooked. Oh. Okay, so this is called Strip Center. This is a really super-duper easy table runner to make. Um, it finishes 19 by 42. How do you make this? Well, basically, and I do have the patterns available, and uh, Leah will put up the link as, as well. But basically, you're starting with one and a half inch strips, and you start in the center, and you just work your way out. This, this table runner can go together in, in no time. If you are one of those really great people that save your scraps, and, and then you cut your strips, and you put them in a little bin, and you're just waiting for the next project to use one and a half inch strips, this is a great project to use those for. Um, and again, it's a, it's a lovely table runner for fall. This makes a great gift. Uh, and you know it'll add to to that whole like theme you have going so super simple and easy it looks a little complicated up here because you have the the lighter air area but the instructions are, are well written uh, easy to follow and that's the thing, kind of thing that we're always looking for is, is well written instructions so this is something that can be done in the coming weeks have it ready to go maybe you're having a gathering uh, family members this is a, a great little table runner to make so I would highly suggest you know if you have one and a half inch strips, uh, if you have a honey bun, and uh, that's another thing that you want to use that for. So a honey bun is like a jelly roll. If you're familiar with pre-cuts, the honey bun are the, the rolls that are one and a half inches wide. So uh, if you have a honey bun sitting around from like five, 10 years ago, grab it, knock yourself out. You'll have this done in no time. It really is that super simple. So that is our uh, strip center. Did you put that up? I did. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, the next thing I want to share with you is this, this charming little pillow here. Um, this is called a bench pillow, and I just love this, and I'm going to talk about this for, for like several minutes because this is a fantastic, um, easy-to-do bench pillow. Now, let me give you some background on this because this actually comes a couple different ways, and I'm actually going to set it off here to the side while I talk. I hold it. You want to? Okay, please going to hold. Here's the hands that you don't normally see. Okay, let's talk about this. This is a bench pillow that you will want to put on anything in your home that has maybe a, a, like a surface or the back of a couch. And what it is, is a Kimberbell design. And many of you are familiar with Kimberbell. They've really come on the scene in the last several years with their great patterns. And they have different uh, patterns for, you know, Halloween, autumn, all through the year, there's a different pillow theme. Originally, when they started with these, you had to buy the pillow separate. Now you do not. You can, the instructions come with the pillow, uh, how to make the pillow insert included, which is always a good thing because you don't want to be shipping a bench pillow in the mail. It's kind of like hard to do. So the instructions come with the uh, instruction, uh, like how to do the bench pillow itself. It's like 30 inches long. It's a beautiful design. And then this is all done applique. Now, many of you already have these colors in your arsenal. You don't need a kit for this. Um, you just need the pattern. Now, the pattern, for those of you that have machine embroidery or embroidery machines, does come as a machine embroidery option. I have to apologize. I was unable to put the link up today. It would not link the way I wanted it to. So you will have to, like, 
message me and go, hey, Kimberly, I would really like the machine embroidery pattern. Or if you want the regular pattern, the regular pattern is available as well. This is super easy, super cute, super simple. Again, it makes a great gift. If somebody gave me one of these, I would just like fall all over the place because I think it'd be great to have like a, a beautiful autumn themed bench pillow. So this one is called, um, did I write it down? Welcome. I did not write it down. It's, I think it's called Welcome Autumn, I think is the name of the pattern. But uh, you can you can set it. Yeah, I'll set it up here. Uh, so again, a really simple, cute pillow. And it's unusual. Most uh, most people don't have bench pillows in their home uh, or on the back like of an unused couch or, or something like that. Maybe even up on a mantle. That'd be really cute. So a, a super easy project. It is applique. I machine applique mine uh, with some invisible thread. If you're unfamiliar how to do that, I do have a YouTube video on how to do invisible machine applique. So you can just pop over there. Uh, I'm going to take a quick second though and back up because I have some people to say hello to. So I'd like to say hello to Andrea. Hi. And um, hope you're having a great day, Andrea. And hi to Pam, Sharon, Jeannie. Thanks for, for joining me again this afternoon. Um, Cecilia, hi, thanks for joining me. Hi, Nance, thanks thanks for the help this week. I appreciate it. Uh, and I'd also like to say, too, that if you click the Shop Now button at the top of the page, it will take you over to my website. So you can either click one of the links that we're featuring today, and that will put you over to the website, or you can click the Shop Now button. And by the way, we also do a weekly newsletter. So if you, have, if you got the newsletter this week, you'll know that you got a great yummy recipe. And for meatloaf, because it's meatloaf season, of course, at, at least at my house, it's meatloaf sure season. And uh, we also linked over to some new fabrics that we got that have arrived. And then um, if, you're, if you've not got the newsletter and you would like to get a newsletter, if you click over to my website and you scroll down to the bottom, you can sign up for the website so, or to the newsletter. And it's free, so why not, right? And then you get to see all the cool things we're doing. If you have a friend that is unable to get onto Facebook Live and you want them to see uh, me standing here uh, droning on and on about cool, fun projects, let them know, too, that our YouTube page uh, has all these videos. I upload um, by the end of the weekend over to YouTube, and that way uh, those that are unable to watch on Facebook can actually still participate. So that's a nice kind of thing, too. So I want to remind you right now that if you just joined us to go ahead and, and share our live video because we're giving away two $50 gift tickets at the end of the today, today's video. So you want to stay tuned to the end and see if you won. So definitely share, share, share. And then if you have shared, make sure you comment so that Leah can see that you shared. And that way you're in, your name goes in the hat for, for a $50 gift certificate. How cool is that, right? Okay. So the next thing I want to share with you, um, and I'm kind of like not cheating, but I am cheating because I've shown this before, but I want to bring it back around again because it is very popular. And uh, I think that you uh, will, uh, I'm trying to give something for everybody. So we have a little bit of machine embroidery. We have a little bit of applique. We have some quilting going on, simple projects. So we're going to keep going with our simple projects theme here. And I'm going to pull this out. Now, again, this is, I showed this a couple weeks ago, but I want to show it again because it is really cool. This is called Year in the Round. And the, the basis of this is you're going to get 12 patterns and it's done with wool. Now, if you're, if you're finding that you just cannot afford wool because wool is very expensive, you can do this with felt. If you have a nice collection of felt or if you have friends that will swap felt with you, uh, maybe some wool and some felt, you can combine all this along. But basically what happens is these come off with magnets and then you can just pop and switch them out. So as the seasons change, you can change out your theme. Now I'm going to turn this around because for video time and sake. Oh, there's our, there's our Halloween one. How cute is he? So basically what happens is when you order the year in the round patterns, they come, um, you get all 12, you get the stand for free and there's free shipping. So uh, I do have a link for this. I think we put up the link. So if you pop over to the website, you can order this and then we send that out. But what a great little fun theme. You can also see the other patterns that are available when you click on the link. You'll be able to see the Christmas one and the, and the uh, Valentine's Day one. And, and I think they're just charming. And, and again, super simple. If you, again, don't have wool, you can use felt. Sometimes you can use flannel. I know friends of mine use flannel. They just put a little heat and bond on there and they just zip it down and they still have a really cute display. And what I love about this is the fact that it's magnetic. So you just pop them off and on throughout the year. And if you have a friend that you think would really love one of these, you can make one for a friend. 
So that is called Year in the Round. And again, the complete set is available on, on our website and they, that includes the stand. So, okay, hopefully he does not fall because he's trying to fall. All right, I'm gonna hopefully stick that back there. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna come to kind of our last two big projects. And uh, you can see them behind me and I'm gonna step aside here so that we can talk about this. Um, this was one of our color project coordinations from last week where we talked about taking uh, so many different fabrics and color coordinating them. We used, we talked about the color scheme Bible, we talked about color wheels, and all those things that can help us put together a beautiful quilt. Well, throughout the week I uh, took the basis of our, our, of our colors and we had started with a little gold and this floral and the black and one of the greens and this cream background and um, believe it or not as fate would have it I was actually searching for the fabric um, because I was trying to like load it up and I found the pattern from Maywood Studios to make the quilt how cool is that so we have the border so I kitted it and it's up on our website so this is a beautiful I think it's a 52 by 52 uh, throw size it's me. This is Maywood. Yes, this is Maywood. And uh, Leah's going to put the feature link up for it now. This is a great little, I kitted it. Everything you see here on the top, including the binding and the pattern, uh, comes in the kit. And, you know, it looks really complicated. I will say, however, that this port part right here where, we did the, where I did the diagonal, that was super simple. And, you know, it looks complicated. This looks like it's hard. It's not. This is a very easy quilt. I managed to do it. Um, in like a day just doing the top you know again I, I didn't have to take the dog out or answer the phone uh, I, I was home by myself that that all incorporates into you know the amount of sewing time we actually have but um, so this is one of the results of, of taking our colors and combining them and I, I actually got you know a, I found the pattern like how cool is that and there's a beautiful border and the border, uh, and it's mitered. So, and again, the instructions tell you how to do a mitered border. If you're not uh, comfortable with a mitered border, don't do a mitered border. Just run it up there straight. Nobody's gonna say anything. It's up to you. It's your quilt, right? So the uh, so that's the Maywood pattern. But this was one of those things we talked about last week. And you can see how the black set everything off. I actually had a black shirt on before we got on today and realized I was blending in with the quilt. So I had to change my shirt because I was actually like becoming one with the quilt and you couldn't see anything except my face. It was like we were laughing pretty hard about that. So anyway, so see how the black really set everything. Uh, and again, as my friend Nancy says, if there's not black in the quilt, it's not a quilt. So it's just, it really pulled all those colors through. And I think you really appreciate how beautiful that turned out. So, okay. Last thing I want to show you was... Um, Okay, sorry. We talked about how to do a, a, uh, a monochromatic theme. All right, so I'm going to take down this one so you can see how the monochromatic theme we had started out with. Oh, here. This is the kit for the one that's here behind me. Okay, here, if you want to take that. And don't let me forget to talk about these two things, Leah, when I go through that. So last week we had our board for our monochromatic theme. Okay, and this is how this turned out. And I'm going to discuss with you what pattern I chose and why. Okay. So you can see here that this is the theme or the pattern I chose. And many of you are familiar with this pattern. This is a carpenter star. And thanks for the hands. And you can see how the red that we had picked out, this is the, uh, the lighter background with a little bit of red and green in it. Then, of course, we have our, our floral, our red. And then another floral uh, and this is our taupe inner border here so based off of the card we used i chose this design because again i think it really showed off the whole monochromatic theme but i, I used a simple pattern so carpenter star for those of you that are unfamiliar uh we do actually have the pattern okay this pattern is by debbie maddie and it's been around for a long time and it does come in three sizes we do have a link over to the kit for this but the kit for this only includes up to this border here, okay? I made mine a little bigger because 
um, in my household, if it doesn't go over the edges of the mattress, I didn't make it big enough. So I made it bigger uh, by adding on two extra borders here, the extra French general borders. So the pat, the kit is actually for the 70 by 70. And again, it uses the Carpenter Star pattern. There's no Y seams in, in this quilt. And if you're unfamiliar with what a Y seam is, a Y seam is where this comes into an intersection and you're trying to like maneuver the fabric into this corner. This isn't done that way. These are done as half square triangles and super simple. For those of you that are familiar with my previous videos, you know I've talked about the mini stripology ruler that uh, I showcased a couple weeks ago. That was a huge time saver in this quilt uh, because these are six and a half inch squares. That mini stripology ruler uh, allowed me to put those angles down perfectly and make those cuts at the six and a half inch square. And I was able to like knock out this top in like no time. Like I, I think I had the top done, just this portion of the top done in just like an hour or two. So really super simple, but I wanted to show you how beautiful that is. Um, I did long arm it this week. Uh, actually, I finished it up this morning and just so you can't see it up close and I'll try and maybe put up an up close picture later of the pantograph that I used. But I used a pantograph called Azaleas and I do have them available uh, on the shop website. You can look at it closer. Uh, if you just type in, yeah, that's getting yeah, it no, there. That's not happening. If you type in the word pantograph on the search page, you can find the one I use. It's a 10 inch wide um, stripe. And I think that really uh, helped because uh, I didn't want it to compete. So I did a, I used so fine thread. That way it wasn't like sticking up off of the quilt. It blended in. And then um, you can still see the overall pattern, but the quilting is there. The other thing that I used, um, and I do have this up on the website, is this is what I use for my backing. This is 108 inch. Um, it's called Vineyard. And if you Google uh, on the, oh, not Googled, if you go to my website and type in Vineyard, you'll see this as well. So that is the backing I use. And then if you're wondering, I used a Quilter's Dream Poly for my bat. And uh, I, I just, I'm pretty pr pleased with how it all turned out, especially for monochromatic, you know, I'm usually more of that uh, warm autumn colors and this, this will go on my bed. I'm really happy with how this, this came out. So hopefully you guys like it as well. And maybe it'll give you a little inspiration and another simple and easy project. This can be done way in time for the colder weather. If you have um, the carpenter star pattern at home, all I did differently was I did not put in eight fat quarters. And when this says use eight fat quarters, I just use regular yardage. So I had two yards of the red and that replaced the eight fat quarters that you normally need for the pattern. And then from there, you just keep following the instructions. Okay, so it's really not, not hard at all. So, all right, so we got through our 10 easy patterns. And next week, um, just so you guys know what we're doing for next week, uh, we're going to go over, um, we're going to start in with uh, Halloween. And uh, I have some really great things to show you for Halloween. It's a very short window of uh, time between now, Halloween, and Thanksgiving. And uh, so, like, the clock's kind of ticking. But we have some really great things we can share with you and, and kind of get you decorated then for Halloween. So once all your fall's done, maybe you leave up some of your fall. And then you do kind of a short Halloween. And then we're into Thanksgiving and then Christmas. So Halloween's a very short window, but I thought we should address it. Because there's a lot of really cute Halloween patterns available as well. So, Okay. So now is our time of the program where we go over questions that you may have and I hopefully can answer them. So if you've seen something today that you want to have more information about, now's the time to definitely type so we can see and, and reply. If you um, are, are interested in uh, finding out you know, something more, you want to see something again, type up there, Kimberly, show me the show me the pillow again or show me the yo-yos again. Tell me more about the Clover product. So um, that's that time. So I give you guys a little bit of time to do that. And again, if you have shared uh, during the video, comment that you shared. That way Leah can pull your name out of the hat for a $50 gift ship again, right? Okay. So, um, and then those of you that are long armors, I know Pam's on. Uh, she's our resident long armor here in our area. Um, we're really excited about, you know, the fact that we have a, 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 a truly gifted long armor. But for those of you that long arm, and I know some of you do, um, you know, let me know, are you more of a pantograph kind of person? Do you have a computer? Uh, you know, how do you go about finishing your quilt tops? Um, because a lot of people have that. So 
Also, I wanted to mention too, speaking of uh, Pam, uh, when we get in the Dear Jane, which is still coming, uh, the Dear Jane quilt kits that are still coming, yes, Pam has the 108 inch backing that she ordered to go with those. So if you order the kit and you're like, oh, who am I gonna take this to to finish it? Because it comes out like 80 by 100. Just a little plug to let you know that Pam has the, she has the 108 ordered. So, I'm sorry, what's that say? Oh, the pantograph name. So you are looking for the pantograph called azaleas, like the plant, A-Z-A-L-E-A-S, azaleas. Uh, it is on my website. So if you type in either the word pantograph or the word azaleas, you'll be able to see that, okay? So Jeannie has a question. Do you have those pillow kits? Okay, so are you talking about this one here? Is that what she's asking? I. I, the, the bench, the bench one. one. Okay, yep. so I don't have, I don't have the fabric as a kit. No, I just have the patterns, and I have the CD available for the machine embroiders. So basically, you'd have to pull from your stash. There, it's a lot of little pieces though. Let me pull it back out and discuss that for just a second. This is just like little four inch, three and a half inch squares. What's that? Charm pack. Yeah. Oh, you can do a charm pack, or just if you have extra little squares running around. This is just size for buttons pretty easy. This um, is just a piece of burlap that I had. If you need a piece of burlap, let me know. I have some more of this. Uh, and then the pillow itself, you can make just using fiber fill. And basically you're making like a sleeve and you're stuffing it full of fiber fill. And then you can put this together. So no, I don't have it kitted, but that's a really good question. When these originally came out, they had them kitted with the fabrics. They've done away with that. Um, and they went to, I guess people can just do their own thing and pull from their stashes. Uh, and then now, like I said, they include the instructions for the bench pillow because before you had to actually order the bench pillows and now you don't have to. So good question. And, and yes, thank you for asking. Okay. Love Pam's quilting. Yes, we all love Pam's quilting. <laughs> yes, we do. All right. So we have, all right. If there, if there's not any more questions, I'm going to go ahead and announce the winner. So if you have another question, throw that in there. Otherwise we're going to announce the, announce the winners here. Okay. All right. I don't see more questions. We're good. Okay. There's Leah's thumbs up. So our two winners today for our $50 gift of it, cause they shared cause they care is Susan R and Sharon A. Thank you so much. Uh, at the end, I will text you and uh, I will message you through Facebook and say, Hey, what's your address? So I can send this gift certificate to you. And thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Um, as always, uh, I, I love the fact that you guys actually join me every Friday and, and like look and see what we've like wanted to share and done. Uh, make sure that you, um, if you have any questions throughout the week, get with me then. And if you have any video suggestions, I know we have a couple from last week that I need to discuss with you. If you have video suggestions, please let me know. I'm always looking for ideas. And uh, of course you can see my previous videos by clicking on the videos tab here on my Facebook page. Again, hit the shop button at the top if you wanna pop over to the website. And if you wanna find me on YouTube, I'm on YouTube under uh, Kimberly's Fabric Stash as well. So I hope that everyone is healthy and doing well. Um, and if you are, again, not on my newsletter, definitely sign up for my newsletter uh, because we always share really great things every week in our newsletter. And we have new things to show you coming in the coming weeks. We have lots of new fabric collections coming in, so that's exciting as well. So thank you again, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Hopefully this has inspired you to get out and do some fall projects. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again next Friday. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.